colour or combination of colours is in power. Now that doesn't mean as police officers that we have to agree with everything the government does. On a personal level, we might be totally opposed to what they do. But as police officers, we must remain apolitical and professional at all times. We're incredibly lucky to live in a democratic society. And I don't believe the solution is to draw up a list of what forces are going to stop doing in the future. Policing is just not that simple. The reality is that cuts to policing budgets are no longer just policing's problem. They're everybody's problem. The police service, the government, our public sector partners, and in particular the public. Because if we can't provide an effective policing service with the resources that are provided, then that becomes a problem for society. Now we might not quite be there yet, but given the scale of the challenges that lie ahead, I believe this is a real risk. Well, what I'm doing is working with the police to find those areas where they say, why are we doing this? Yes. And I say, well, let's find a way to see if we can deal with that. And mental health is a very good example of that. Mm. And I had a meeting earlier this week um, with people from the health service, with police and crime commissioners, with police officers as well, um, looking at how we can go further in dealing with terms of mental health. Because it's right, police officers, right from the very beginning of being in this job, police officers were saying to me, we, we, we're not trained to deal with people in mental health crisis. Um, and it's one of the biggest issues you know, that they faced. And so we've, wor we've worked with them on that and are seeing some very good effects.